Hey guys, so it's time for my April favourites. How exciting. Um, this month I've actually been loving a lot of different skincare stuff, which is very unusual for me because normally I mainly talk about makeup and not so much about skincare, but I found a few amazing skincare things this month, so I'm going to start with them. And this is my favourite of all of the favourites that I've discovered this month. It's the This Works Clean Skin 5-in-1 Water, and this is basically more of a makeup remover than a cleanser. Um, the one thing that I can really compare it to is Bioderma and I'm actually going to make the kind of out there claim that I prefer this to Bioderma, I think it's much better. Um, I did a review of this on my blog so if you want to find out all the information about it and kind of what I think in a more in-depth manner then go and check it out, I'll link it in the information bar below. But I absolutely love this, I think it's fantastic. It just removes your eye makeup within five seconds, literally. I use three um, small round cotton pads for this. I put two squirts on each. I use one for my face and then one for my eyes and just hold it on for a few seconds and then just wipe it off and it removes makeup like nothing else. It's absolutely amazing. It's really gentle. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It doesn't sting your eyes. Well, it doesn't hurt my eyes or sting my eyes, but I absolutely love it and I have been trying to kind of convince everybody else to start using it as well. So. Um, I just think it's amazing. Um, the next thing that I've been loving is my Cordily Beauty Water, and this one is almost out. I've just ordered some more of these. I absolutely love this for on the go, kind of refreshing your skin, refreshing your makeup. It smells amazing. I feel like it really makes your skin look lovely too. I don't even really know how. I've been absolutely loving that ever since I picked it up in Paris at the end of March. And another thing that I got in Paris that I've been loving is the Ombre Elise um, Milk Cream Concentrate and this is amazing just as a general bog standard moisturiser. Like it doesn't have SPF in it, it's not going to do crazy things, it's not an all singing, all dancing, claiming to do this and that, but it's so amazing for moisturising your skin. If you have dry skin I would really really recommend this. I absolutely love it and I can't really talk about it highly enough. I think this has been in a favourites video probably a year ago or something. The last time I used it was it was quite a long time ago but I did love it at the time as well and I've kind of rediscovered it. It's not too expensive either especially if you live in Europe. I think this was about five euros fifty or something but it's amazing and I've been using it as my nighttime moisturiser. Um, the last kind of skincare item, it's more of like a body skincare item, is my first aid beauty body moisturiser and I mentioned this in my New York haul which would have been the last video up on this channel. Um, this is amazing if you have sensitive skin. It's unscented, it's very kind of like, it's kind of a balmy texture. If you're looking for something that smells great and you kind of want that nice packaging kind of luxury product then this isn't it. But if you have sensitive skin, like I've been getting a really sensitive chest and back and upper arms, this is just absolutely fantastic. It really moisturises, it doesn't leave any kind of greasy feeling, it feels almost matte. Um, I absolutely love it. I got a sample of it in my glossy box and it's converted me. So thank you glossy box for introducing me to this. I love it and I think it's about £12 so not too much. And then my final kind of body skincare thing is my body spray from Bath and Body Works and this I got in New York as well. I don't know why I said as well because I didn't get this in New York, I bought it at home. Um, but I got this when I was in New York. It's the pink chiffon fragrance. It smells super sweet, sugary, like you want to eat it, like it smells like confectionery. Um, it's lovely, it's very refreshing, it's perfect for the summer. I've used up quite a bit of it already considering I've only had it for about two weeks. Um, really, really like this and I'll might get a full size one next time I go to the States, who knows, love that. So moving on to makeup, and I actually don't have that much makeup at all this month, but I do have a few select things that I've been loving. A lot of the stuff that I've been using, which is why I don't have so many favourites as I normally do, is the same as the last couple of months, so my Shiseido foundation I've been loving, I've been loving my Tender Tones, I've been loving my NARS Kalahari um, eyeshadow duo, all of that stuff I still am absolutely in love with. But there are two lip products that I have been loving. One is incredibly high-end and expensive and from Chanel. And the other one is Revlon Lip Butter in Creme Brulee. And this is actually one of the more recent additions that I've bought. Because initially when I got the lip butters, Ingrid actually bought me five. And she bought me... What was it four? I can't remember. She bought me all pinks anyway. Um, and I haven't been 
a really big fan of the nude lip in a long time. Um, I used to love it. When I first started YouTube videos, maybe two years ago, I used to love nude, nude lipstick. Um, I used to wear it all the time, but since then I've kind of become more of a pink girl. But I absolutely love this. I It's kind of reawakened my um, desire for the nude lip. Um, it's a really, really kind of creamy formula. You guys will be familiar with the Revlon lip butters by now. Um, they are quite pigmented for a lip butter. You would think that they'd be more like a tinted lip balm, but they're actually really good and they look really nice. So I've been loving that. And then I've also been loving my Chanel Jalousy Lip Gloss, total mind blank there, which is part of the um, Rose Ultime de Chanel collection, which has only just come out in England, but it's been out in the States since Valentine's Day, which I just find crazy. Some of Chanel's release dates I just don't get. But this is an absolutely beautiful blue tone pink. I would say it has like a shimmer to it but it's such a fine shimmer. It's more like just a really deep colour. Ju it's just beautiful and it's really pigmented. The only problem with this is that it's not sticky at all and that's normally a bonus but the problem with having a really really highly pigmented gloss that isn't sticky is that it tends to be very movable so it's easy to smudge off your lip um, and onto your face so you do have to keep an eye on it and I was talking to Alison or Amariques when I was in New York she loves this as well and I was saying I love this lip gloss but I'm always worried that I've smudged it like on my chin or something and she was like that's actually happened to me like it is a problem with this lip gloss but otherwise the lip gloss is amazing but I would recommend having a mirror in your bag um, for top ups just in case but I love that and then I have one brush that I've been absolutely in love with for the last month and it is this tiny little one from B Delium and my friends Louise and Zoe actually has just started selling these and they gave me a set um, a while ago now, way before they started selling them. And this little brush is the star of that set. It's absolutely amazing. It's the best thing in the whole wide world for smudging your eyeliner. So what I tend to do, I've never been like a really neat eyeliner girl. I'm not a huge fan of liquid liner. But what I like to do with this is whack on a little bit of coal in kind of a messy fashion, however you want to do it. And then just get this and just smudge it into your lash line. It looks so good. It's really, really good and I really like it and it's only tiny but I don't know what it is I think it's because it's so tiny but so pointy and still a bit fluffy at the same time really really good brush and I love that and then last but not least I've got two nail polishes now the first one is this um, bright bright fuchsia from Topshop which is called high voltage and this has kind of reignited my love for plain nail varnishes if you guys watch me a lot you'll know that I'm absolutely well I have been absolutely obsessed with glitter polishes um, holographic polishes anything with a bit of sparkle or a bit of shine or anything a bit unusual but recently I've kind of been converted back into more kind of plain colour nail polishes and this started it all off. It's such a gorgeous bright pink, amazing for summer, amazing on your toes, amazing on your fingers too, um, but it's really really nice, the formulation's really nice, it's very um, opaque so you need two coats and you're good to go. Absolutely love that and it's cheap too, it's obviously top shops, I think it's five pounds. And then the next thing that I've been loving is what I've been wearing on my toes all month, it's Max Factor's Graffiti. Now these little pots from Max Factor are a bit of a love-hate thing for me because they have amazing colours but they're generally really really watery. Um, this one is the best one I've tried. Um, if you guys have tried Fantasy Fire or the other ones I have, I've got Sunny Pink and then I've got another blue one. They're all so sheer and it's just you need like five coats to get full opacity and it is really really irritating but this one is a three coat one pretty standard kind of nail it's basically a really gorgeous kind of deep teal with it's almost like a purple and blue glitter in it it's really really pretty anyway and the amazing thing about this polish and I don't honestly know why but normally when I paint my toenails if I then go walking a lot and I've had this on all the way through New, New, New York. I was in New York for a week and we walked every day for absolutely miles and normally if I do that I will lose the polish on either one or many of my toes, especially the smaller ones. It tends to just chip off in one chip. This hasn't moved. I'm looking at my toes now. About three weeks later it's still perfect. 
no chips or anything, absolutely amazing. And I just used my normal top coat on it, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. So I know it's not the top coat because normally I use that top coat and the top coat is great, but normally it's still chips. So pretty sure it's the nail varnish, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm loving that. So that is it for my beauty favorites. I do have one last favorite for the month and it is a bracelet. And quite cheekily, it's one of my bracelets that I sell on my website. But there is a story behind this bracelet because I have been trying to get a rose gold, no, obviously not solid rose gold, because the bracelets I sell, if you guys don't know, are wrap bracelets, so they're leather wrap bracelets. I've been trying to get a rose gold one made for the last three months, and I have finally, finally managed to do it. They're going up for sale on my website today, which I'm so excited about, and it looks like this. You guys might have spotted it in um, a couple of my videos, because I have been wearing it so much this month. I've probably worn it like 20 days out of the 30 days in April, so I have been absolutely loving it. I finally, finally got a rose gold version of my bracelets. I'm so, so happy about it. Um, and yeah, I really like it because it's a lot more delicate than a lot of my other bracelets because it's actually made with um, kind of natural leather rather than coated leather. It does mean it gets a little bit dirty, but I quite look. I quite look, I quite like the look of it when it gets dirty. I kind of like that kind of rustic look and it looks amazing with my rose gold Michael Kors watch as well, which I love. And yes, that is my final favorite. I hope you guys have had a fantastic April. Um, and that is pretty much it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.